Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Let's walk through this question answer choice by answer choice, starting with group polarization. As stated here, Group polarization is when a person shifts to an extreme opinion when in a group. For instance, in this case, I take a person who believes that smoking is bad, and I put them in a room of other people who also believe that smoking is bad. As they discuss the negative aspects of smoking and all the damages that it causes, these people's opinions begin to become more and more extreme. By the time they finish their discussion, this person who originally believed that smoking was bad believes that smoking should be banned. They have gone from believing it's bad to believing something much, much more extreme in the same direction. Now let's talk about conformity. Conformity should be seen as giving in to peer pressure. You're simply going along with the crowd, not because anyone asked you to or commanded you to, but simply because you don't want to be an outcast, right? So you're just going along with what everyone else is doing so that you fit in. As seen in this image, you know, all these sheep are wearing sunglasses, so, you know, they're all conforming to the what's hip in the herd. Now let's talk about groupthink which is a phenomenon where people tend to conform with group decisions to avoid feeling outcast, which leads to errors in decision making. So basically, the desire to conform is leading to errors in decision making in these group processes. Okay? So it's not just the fact that we're conforming, it's the idea that we're in a group doing this, and that desire to conform is leading to erroneous decisions that are coming out of the group as a whole. There's a lot of different factors that come into play with groupthink. One of which is self-censorship, which we're seeing here, where they're all thinking one thing, but they're censoring themselves and saying another. And there might be varying levels of this. You know, maybe one person kind of has a gut feeling like this might not be good, but they're kind of pushing the idea away. And they're trying to convince themselves internally that this is actually an okay idea. And so they might actually somewhat believe what they're saying, whereas some people might, you know, completely disagree with the decision being made as a group, but they're just going to express agreement in order to conform. Another aspect of group think is that the group as a whole tends to feel invincible. So even though they all inwardly disagree with the direction they're going, they still feel like, well, as long as we're going in the same direction as a group, we'll be okay, which is a very bad way to think. And these are some, just a few of the aspects that come into play in group think. Now let's talk about confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is when you look for supporting evidence for your own hypothesis, instead of looking at information objectively. And I really like this comic in the top left corner because I think it illustrates this perfectly. In the left side of the image, it says the scientific method. Here are the facts. What conclusions can we draw from them? That's the opposite of confirmation bias. They're objectively looking at all the information and drawing conclusions based on that information. In the right side of the image, it says the political method. Here's the conclusion. What facts can we find to support it? This is the confirmation bias at play. You have your own preconceived notions about what is true. And over time, as you encounter different information, you're going to ignore information that disagrees with you, and you're going to focus on information that agrees with you. So you're continually looking for information that supports your own preconceived notion. Let's take a second look at the question stem. NASA met to discuss whether they should move forward to the Challenger launch. Those in opposition to the launch keep quiet. When those with a different opinion do speak up, they are censored. The group feels they are invincible and move forward to the launch. The launch fails, killing the astronauts involved. Which term best describes the leadership team's behavior? This immediately makes me think of groupthink for several reasons. One, we're in a group. Two, there's a desire to conform. And three, the group feels invincible. And all of these factors lead to a bad decision. For this reason, I'm very confident that this is groupthink at play here. And I actually find this example really interesting because it's true. Very, very sad, but true. Groupthink can lead to some very, very bad results. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.